sa kapagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa InTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas to. Ano sa mga balita sa alas bose? Vice Presidente Sara Duterte ang dunay himuong satellite office sa pipila ka mga dapit din sa nasun. Lakip na sa sumo. Sex Minister Congressman Daphne Lagon, huwag wala o nun ang himuong syudad ang nusun sa konsolasyon. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Inyusang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Mga motorsiklo, mahimo na unyang makaagi sa Cebu City, Cordoba Bridge. Ang mga motorsiklo, doon ay kaugalimog na lane, nga ibutang diha sa maong tulay. Nasuta nga ang mga motorsiklo, nga doon ay gikusgon nga engine, nga 125cc, nga to sa 399cc, gikategorize kini nga mga vehicle CLA 1M na doon ay discounted nga toll rate na 60 pesos. Mudawat ni Hapon ang CCLX o cash nga bayad apan mo patuman sila o partial electronic collection. Kantong doon ay RFID. Naliraon niya silang makaagi sa toll plaza. Giyawag ang mga motorista nga schedule ang pag-install sa ilahang RFID stickers. Pinaagi sa pagbisita lang sa CCLX website nga mao ang ccelex.com.ph o i-click ang register. Gipangbaw ni Vice Presidente Sara Duterte nga doon na siya buhaton unya ng mga satellite ng mga opisina sa pipila ka mga dapit din sa nasod sa Office of the Vice President o nalakip na ni Ini ang sumo. Tinguha ni Ini nga maduol sa katawhan ang mga programa sa Vice Presidente. Matod sa Vice Presidente nga gikinahanglan ng mga satellite office aron mapadali pa ang serbisyo ng sa katawhan gikan sa iyang buhatan. Ang satellite offices na himutang sa lungsod sa Dagupan sa Region 1, Cebu City sa Region 7, Tacloban sa Region 8, Samtang sa Sambuanga o Sab sa Region 9, Dabao sa Region 11, o Tandang sa Surigao del Sur sa Region 13. Si Vice Presidente Sara Duterte, lakip o Sab sa mga gabinete ni Presidente Ferdinand Bungbong Marcos, di ay ang gihuptan ang Departamento sa Edukasyon. Bago ang ilingkod ng kalihim sa Department of Transportation kung DOTR nga si Jaime Bautista ni saan nga mapatuman o transformation sa industriya sa transportasyon. Matod ni Bautista nga ang Philippine Transportation System mausab, mutaas nga to sa global standards, pinagi sa DOTR o mo sa administrasyon ni Presidente Ferdinand Bungbong Marcos. Mototok siya sa maayong servisyo alang sa mga pasahero o produkto. Ang bagong hipi sa DOTR ni saan nga magpadayon usab ang Bill 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 nga programa sa miaging administrasyon. Si Bautista na nga yung suporta sa tanan ng mga opisyal sa DOTR o sa mga kawani aron tubagon ang nagkalanglaing isyo sa transportation sector. Si Bautista na nga yun nga gusto niya nga huwag siyang kalainan o niya nila sa iyang departamento. Bisa nga magataas ang kaso sa Ligge din sa Dakbayan sa Sumbo apan gihimugatan sa Cebu City Health Department na mas ubus ni ini ang trend sa buwan sa Hunyo. Humal nga nakatala lang ang syudad o 250 kama kaso itangli sa buwan sa Mayo nga niabot o 361 ang kasayuran ihatod ni Desime Padilla. Gibutiang ni Dr. Jeffrey Ibones, officer in charge sa Cebu City Health Department nga ang kaso sa dengue sa Cebu City misa kagihapon apan ang trend di ini paubos. Sa datos nga gihatag ni Dr. Ibones sa week 25, ang kaso sa dengue sa Cebu City ni abot ang 1,337 apan sa ilang datos nakita nila nga paubos ang trend ni ini. Gumikan kay sa buwan sa Mayo ang syudad. Nakatalog 361 cases apan sa buwan sa Hunyo na analang sa 250 ang kaso So, apan, giklaro ni Dr. Ibones na padayon niya po ang laka ng ilang buhaton aron maubos pag din ang kaso sa dengue sa Cebu City. Ilabi na nga tingwan, kung matod pa doon ay umaabot ng bagyo sa buwan sa Hulyo, base matod pa sa forecast sa pag-asa. Not only uh, magdaon siya, pero maligin na ang gamot lang ta, so we are doing our best para mo-decrease ang atong cases. 
Tuna ni ini ang Cebu City Government na nagiumol nga Dengue Task Force sa convergence nga pinanguluhan ni Sonia Impinado Inman Task Force sa mga barangay aron makatabang din sa pagbatok sa dengue. Mato ni Dr. Ibones ang kaso sa dengue na asa mga sityo, maong dako ang ginupapel ang mga barangay officials ilabi na sa pag-inukar sa katawan uban sa mga trabahante sa health centers. Importante din kayo, no? Ang nakita mong review sa ito ang mga atungkaran, na nga sa ito ang mga kasipiluhan, ay nasa nakita na ito, no? Dati ang mga sityo mga wasap kayo, makuha sa kaya basura. Niya, ang Cebu City Government, nagsikalayon yun ka, no? Wala na sa COVID, ang COVID is na sumpo na ito, na nagkirita na itong cases. Kaya sinapakay man tayo ito, ah, dito sa upo sa barangay level. Asoy pa ni Ibones sa alas 3 santod sa alas 5 sa hapon nila nga pagsuroy sa mga sikyo sa kabarangayan, giyawang yun nila ang mga barangay officials ng uban aron mutabang ng hangyo sa mga tao ng manglimpyo. Samtang, padayon pa nga giverify sa Cebu City Health Department ang informasyon na nadungagan matod pa ang mortality sa Cebu City tungod kay naaman kini na ospital sa Dakbayan sa Mandawe. Kung ma-verify na nila mahimo na unyang 18 ang namatay sa Cebu City tungod sa dengue gigan sa buwan sa Enero Hanton sa Hulyo. Decime Padilla, CCT News. Gusto ni Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama nga paubsan ang listahan sa mga requisitos sa financial assistance alang sa mga senior citizens din sa syudad. Kinawag yung ni Mayor Michael Rama human nga si retired Philippine Ambassador Totorque nga si Maria Ruina Sanchez may daing sa mayor tungod sa paghatag yun ni ini o pagtagan sa katungod sa mga senior citizens din sa syudad sa Subo. Si Sanchez, uban sa upat ka mga retired ng mga ambasador ni Recita sa mayor sa mga Alaw, araw ang congratulate ni ini ang lang o turno kasi mayor sa dakwayan sa sumo. Ang kasantangan ng mga requisitos alang sa mga senior citizens sa financial assistance, muang putok kape sa senior citizens ID, original nga kape sa cumulative voters registration, o dapat nga registered voters sila so kaniyan tong 2013 o sa barangay certification. Alang sa mayor, ang pag-required o voters certification, matod niya nga usaka taktika na mapugos ang mga senior citizens kang bubutar nila ng mga politiko. Matag unya o direktiba ang mayor, ang iyang management team sa pagtanaw unya sa pag-amindar sa maong mga requisitos. Gitingunan ni 6th District Representative Daphne Lagon ang pagduso o balaod nun nga mahimo na unyang syudad ang lungsod sa konsolasyon. Suma so, sa kongresista nga sa pagsugod sa regular nga sesyon karong lunis, karong adlaw, ay ang hatanggan o unang pagtagan ang pagduso sa maong balaod nun. Pero gamikan kay taon-taon na ang maong plano o panahon na aron kini mapatuman ilabi na kay Dunay mga kausaban sa local government code sa 1991 nga nagaingon nga wa na gikinahanglan ang ginaghan noon sa populasyon alang sa paghimog syudad sa usa ka lugar usa ka requirements kini nga maong income sa lungsod ug maabot og dili mo minus 100 million sa milabay nga duha ka tuig gitug ani lagon nga ang konsolasyon adunay income nga matag tuig nga mukapina sa 100 million pesos sud na sa pipila ka tuig ug kwalipikado na kini nga mahimo nga usa ka syudad Mao kag to mga balita sa alas 12 sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar at ang ang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTN Chapel naghang salamat
is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. this Mass today, together with our personal intentions, for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays. In a special way, we remember uh, Bishop Julito Cortez and Bishop Medifail de Leones, who are celebrating their birthdays today, and those who are celebrating their anniversaries. And for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration, we also continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. And since today is Monday, we also offer this Mass today for the eternal repose of the souls of the faithful departed and those who are celebrating their death anniversaries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my bail. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Slow to anger 
from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <laughs> While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhage, hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. He said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house, and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed Monday to us. Today's Gospel reading is Matthew's, or St. Matthew's version of the cure of the royal official's daughter. And of course, with this is the, the famous and the classical insertion, which actually, if you study the the Gospels, this is called the, the sandwich effect. No? The cure of the woman suffering hemorrhages is inserted into the very episode. Now, St. Matthew's uh, version is a bit direct to the point because the royal official told Jesus that her daughter has already died. Directly said, but it adds practically dimension to the, to the, to the enormous effect of the, of the event. While if we compare this to St. Mark's version, when the official went to Jesus, the daughter was still sick. And then because of the woman's uh, intervention, na langay, pagkahuman, naabot, yung namatay na imong imong anak, ang imong anak na babae. But anyway, the point here is seen from the perspective of the, the daughter who is of a very young age and the woman who was already suffering, an older person. And this uh, event that came to their lives is basically an important dimension and perspective. Both scenes or both episodes being fused together has something to do with touching. First, the woman who wished and desired to be touched by the Lord, but, see, but since of the, because of the crowd, he, he, he did touch him. 
And Jesus, when he came to the house, he actually grasped the girl, and then the girl arose, which is the technical term for resurrection. Now, the touching that actually took place from Jesus' part and from the woman's part is also at the same time our own desire. There is a very beautiful song for offertory. It says, Lord, we touch you today. No? Now, the point here is, when we want to touch the Lord, and if ever he cannot touch us because of the crowd, in the case of the woman, we have to make an effort to really touch him. So it is not just only being touched by the Lord, but we really want and desire to touch him. And this is what we are actually sent for, part of our mission. On so many desires of Abai, just the fringes of the clock, no? Ang mga kilid-kilid lang sa, ang sid-sid sa ang sinina. And this is also the same mission that we have. Being touched by the Lord in the many different ways, most specifically in the Eucharist, we are also sent to touch those who are in the fringes of society. Muna'y usa sa mga nindot kayo nga, gipakita ni Pope Francis. Nga bisan wa pa siya mapok, sige naman siya ka to sa mga kilid-kilid sa katilingban. And hopefully we can do that through our prayers, through the desire that we have, through the intentions that we do and offer in the Mass. And most especially, and most specifically, going really where the fringes are in society. Amen. Amen. In response to faith, Jesus came to the aid of the woman with flow of blood and the daughter of a synagogue official. May we have confidence in Jesus who has the power to give life to the dead. And so we say, Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That parents who grieve over their children, who have gone astray, who suffer infirmities or have died, may experience the comfort of the Lord and the help of those close to them, we pray. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That the Lord may protect the unborn from the menace of abort abortion and deliver the children everywhere from any kind of harm and evil, we pray. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That like the woman suffering from hemorrhages, many women receive help from the Lord in giving birth, in their sickness, in attending to the needs of their family, and in their personal problems, we pray. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. That those burdened by self-doubt, pessimism, and drooping spirit may draw comfort in Jesus, who took the little girl by the hand and made her rise again, we pray. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow that those who have gone to the sleep of death may wake up to the joy of eternal life, we pray. Lord, comfort us in our sorrow. Lord Jesus, consoler of those who mourn, you dry the tears of the family of the synagogue official, of the sisters of Lazarus, and of the widow of Naim. Comfort those who mourn for the dead and come to the aid of all who suffer great loss. Through Christ our Lord.
pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we this bread and break this cup We proclaim your death, O oh Lord Until you come again, until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant Bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, 
never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength and their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Señor Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace.
live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 